much damage. Yep, yep, yep. Look at the tantalizing move. Oh, and he's able strong. to combo up the flex? What a god. My dude. Welcome everybody to Combo Breaker 2019 Super Turbo Yo. Top 8. I am James Chen. This is Hager, eh? How's everybody going out there? Hope you guys are ready for some awesome old school action oh here. Oh my gosh, it is so hype over here. The ST action this weekend has been ridiculous. <laughs> Dude, it's so great because, I mean, Combo Breaker is so friendly for a lot of the old school games. Mm -hmm. We just finished Vampire Savior, which you were a part of. Yes, yeah, congratulations a little bit. on yeah, your thank top you. eight thank finish you got top there. Eight. Yeah. yeah, and you know, there's some MVC2 going on oh on other gosh. streams. There's like. Uh, we had uh, EX2, Street Fighter EX2, CVS2 earlier in the weekend and everything. So, And then Third Strike yeah. coming up later. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so many of good retro games over here at Combo Breaker 2019. Man. Yeah, absolutely. But it is going to be Super Turbo, which is the retroest of the retro. Still, though, one of the greatest fighting games ever. And here you go. We're going to oh, start right sure. away on the winner semis with Jiggly Norris and Money. And Jiggly Norris... If I'm not mistaken, a local here mm -hmm. and uh, from the Chicago area, and it's just so strong. Yeah, yeah, so strong. Um, actually, uh, before I came over here on Wednesday, I went to an arcade, and uh, there's some of the local uh, Chicago players, and they're telling me to watch out for a Jiggly. That he was gonna, you know, do some damage in these brackets, and yeah, they okay, weren't kidding. Okay. Well, uh, I'm not sure what's happening here. Jiggly Norris is saying something about his controller, I think. Yeah, and uh, I believe um, Money is also uh, from the Midwest, uh, Wisconsin, I believe. Okay, okay. Yeah, uh huh. Steadfast claw player. And you know what the interesting thing is, though? Fei Long, as a character in Japan, has been rising up in the tier list. And one of the reasons why is because they say he can fight Vega pretty decently, yeah. can fight Claw de decently. Yeah, because we are playing on a Japanese board, so it says Balrog up there, so I'll stick with Claw. Mm -hmm. Ooh, got him. And now in. Oh, oh, that was definitely not supposed to be a heavy kick. It was probably supposed to be a chicken wing. And here he goes. At go. any point in time, your life can just disappear against Fei Long. Ah, Ooh. see? Ah, you just. He threw you the first time, and then the second time, it's the fire. That chicken wing pressure is so scary. Oh, uh, there we go. Definitely. Starting off with wall dives. Oh, God. And then finds that flame kick in there, gets the toss. Oh, Ooh. stayed in front with the overhead. That's going to miss. Yeah. Again. <laughs> and you know what? Vega's going to stab you with that Crouching Fierce. But really, is that enough to discourage you to continue keep trying that? You know, well, I mean, obviously now with no life. But still, good job for money right there, baiting out the Flame Kick. Ooh, just missing the slide. Throws a chicken we go. Let's go. Mm, OK. Try to jump forward and got air to air. Nice toss. Oh, oh my. no. The Rekka's out of nowhere. Yeah, he hadn't really used Rekka's all day. And that was, I think, the first one. Okay, there we go. Good job to money. But you know what? As much as people are saying Phelan can handle Vega, he's still Vega. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Vega is definitely one of those characters that, you know, you can't really just, yeah, can't sleep on him. Mm -hmm. Vega is still the best character in the game for a reason. Oh, oh, wow, just goes for the throw afterwards. And yeah, if you tech that kick throw, he can kind of get this weird cross-up uh, situation. And so he keeps faking him by staying in the front with the overhead. Nice block. Ooh, Ooh. good block again. <gasps> what is happening here? Oh, again with the overhead. Oh, but that chicken wing, you know, the way it hits can be odd. And I think uh, Jiggly Norris was hoping it was going to hit twice there maybe, but it only hit once. What Ooh, the heck? Wow. Straight through that crouching medium. It's, yeah, the, the Vega, when he sticks out that claw, he leans so far forward. You see Mao use that to avoid cross-ups a lot of the time. Mm, knocked down, and he's going to get the cross-up. And he gets his claw Ooh. back. Oh, oh, okay, Ooh. he went for the flame kick. But I think Money saw that last time. He said, 
not this time, Jiggly Norris. Yeah, Jiggly had him in the corner there for just a little bit, but Money managed to fight his way out, and that kind of sealed the deal right there. All right, here we go. Money right now at match game. As much as we've been talking about how good Jiggly Norris is, look, he is down 0-2. Oh, we're oh, going here we go. And then he can get the throw because he still recovers oh. in time. Oh, oh, and just a kick to the shins. And Money looking really good right now, putting himself up on game point. Yeah, he's looking very Money right now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, got him with the flame kick, but it, I swear that flame kick hit on the other side. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh. Okay, you're dead. Yeah, Rekka is after That'll that. Yeah, and Money is definitely yeah, no stranger to that light kick, flame kick. Mm -hmm. Oh, trying oh. to chase him down. Couldn't quite make it there. And again, you see Jiggly Norris just kind of going in with those light flame kicks as much as possible, but... They're starting to add up now because uh, I think Money's doing a good job being patient. And so I feel like uh, Jiggly Norris has got to go for some more throws, but he's gonna, he doesn't have any more chances. There it is, Money, Money. going to take it 3-0. Once again, you know, an event like Combo Breaker can't happen without all of the support and everything that's been happening. And if you are a big fan of Super Turbo, look, in Free Play Arlington, in, they're, they're running another Super Turbo tournament. And they're always running Super Turbo tournaments. They do yeah. amazing things down there. I was for just sure. there for their spring series, mm -hmm. and it was so cool. The venue is awesome. The weekends they'll have like under 15 like Super Turbo yeah, tournaments. Yeah, that like event was wild. It was just <laughs> packed. Oh, yeah. gosh. It's, it's so cool. They're trying to raise the new generation of Super Turbo players. For sure, for sure. So definitely check them out at uh, freeplayarlington.com. All right. Looks like next up we have Logic LV coming from Vegas uh, over there in the hat. And uh, the next player, name escapes my mind, but yeah. Okay. Well, you can follow along the brackets in uh, smash.gg if you guys want to check that out. We're here on Super Turbo Top 8. This is going to be the other side of the winner's bracket here. Our internet is a little dodgy here. <laughs> Is going to be Logic LV versus the Arch Villain. That's right. The, that Arch Villain was going with uh, Dictator earlier, doing a really good job with them. Logic LV, of course, using. Uh, dude, we've got like the the, the Shadowloo bosses. Where's our old Sagat? <laughs> right? Yeah. It's the only one that we're missing so far. But Bison's got to make it through this. Otherwise, how could he rule Shadowloo if he's losing the boxer? You know. Yeah, can't lose to the underlings. <laughs> oh, there we go. You know, that Arch Villain, I kind of remember him fighting a Balrog before. He's really good at getting that throw on that Balrog mix up. I think he might actually be plinking the throws, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's actually, you know, I never did it when I used to play this game a long time ago, but like now that I know about plinking and everything, it just makes sense. Plink all your throws, yeah. you know. And it's really interesting how all this, you know, kind of quote unquote new tech is coming into these <laughs> yeah. older games. And then all the Japanese players are like, we've just been doing that for years. Yeah. But the thing is, you just didn't have a name for it, you know? <laughs> Ooh, the crouch oh. fierce. That's anti-air. All right. Oh, oh okay. Head nice headbutt. And that was a trade, Ooh. but that arch villain lives. Good stuff. There you go. Again, a trade on that head stop. And now, all of a sudden, the offense is going. Oh, that was kind of nice, and he still had the strong on the way down. One more mix-up. He oh. touched the button and got supered in the face. Logic LV just on the back pedal that whole last round right there. And then at the end, yeah, just getting close up by super. It looks like, yeah, he hit a button <laughs> right there. Just took his straight hit. Uh, maybe he was trying for his own super or yeah. something. And just, you know, when you do your, your super and you eat their oh, inputs, gosh, you yep. know. <laughs> 
Yeah, we were uh, talking about that on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, Top 8, where <laughs> you can't even have two supers at the screen at the same time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but here we go. Logic LV coming back with a rally. Ooh, nice. The three hit. Not stunned, though. Surprised that that wasn't a stun right there. Oh, what? Too slow. I wonder if that arch villain was trying to see if he can get the super out in that time and just uh. missed. Okay, the cross oh, up. Oh, stealing yeah. the corner. Nice. Five hit, and then the oh, cross the pure up. cross up. And Balrog players sometimes aren't used to that because it's hard to cross them up. But he got him. Bison has one of the best cross ups in the game. Oh, man, Ooh. that arch villain is going to town. Oh. Got the stun again. Yeah, he's got that five hit combo down pat. He goes up 2 0. Yeah, arch villain looking really strong right now. See what Logic LV can do here. See if he can come up with something. I felt like he was actually doing really well. Yeah, it just it seems like the momentum changes just haven't been in his favor. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, once it goes the other way, the art villain was getting you know getting his hits and getting those cross ups over. Uh, the Logic LV just didn't have the defense to kind of break out of that and get out of that zone. Let's see if uh, he has can pull out something because this is it right here. Well, wow. Okay, that that's a nice start. Get the stun, but he didn't get the combo afterwards, unfortunately. Ooh. Okay, there we go. There we go. And I think, yeah, that's one of the first times that we've seen that kind of, you know, whiff into throw. Gets the cross up, but wasn't deep oh, enough, so he's going to get thrown out of that. Oh, nice headbutt. Tried to get away by jumping, and again get a oh. cross up, but you know what? Oh, that was beautiful. Very nice. Got him with that uh, crouching light punch, canceled into it to ensure that he was locked down. That last hit just did enough chip. Oh, very good execution there. Uh, just to let the chat know, Jimmy Bones is in fact here. I've talked to him, he just did not enter ST. Oh. He says okay. he's uh, retired, quote unquote. <laughs> but I keep telling him he'll be back. Yeah. And he's like, everyone tells me that, but you know what? Uh, he seems pretty adamant about it, but we'll get him back. We'll, see. Yeah, we'll, we'll get him back. Mm -hmm. We'll get him back. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Headbutt. Yep, that wake up jab if you don't get your meaty jump in properly. Wake up super. The other side, another headbutt. And you know what? Balrog's got the super. It's still not oh. safe. He trades. Oh. Wow. And that's got to be a tough one for Logic LV. Had it right there at the end, but that trade is just a little, little too late. Oh, that's oh. going to be a big punish. Yeah, that was definitely an execution error. Wow. Oh, okay. Stun, whatever. I'm just going <laughs> to low block. Let's get that damage in. The cross up again. Oh, wait. Oh. And that arch villain is going to take it. I, I really feel like one of the biggest weaknesses of Logic LV right there is he just never seemed to want to believe in the cross up. Mm -hmm. And so we got hit by that cross up so often. Yeah, you know, normally you have that boxer sway back that you know, it's really hard to cross you up, but yeah, that one, you know, like you said earlier, Dictator's cross up is one of the best. So, yeah, so you see right there, Money and that arch villain have advanced to winners finals. Logic LV and Jiggly Norris are in losers now, going to be waiting for their opponents, and their opponents are going to be the winner between Nakanishi and Climax, and Mega Man X and Aphromatic. Nakanishi, of course, just fresh off of his win from Vampire yes. Savior. Uh, been doing very well this weekend. Also got second in CVS2. <laughs> After a heart attack, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> After getting the reset on Justin Wong and almost dying. <laughs> <laughs> but then uh, Justin was able to take it through his patented lame Justin Wong style. Mm -hmm. and, and I mean that in the most loving way possible because it's so entertaining for me. Anyways. Oh, yes. I, I love the lame play. <laughs> yes, definitely. But Nakanishi has been doing well in a lot of the old school games here. Um, I guess. I believe he got top four in EX as well. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah. dang. Okay, okay. Here we go. Okay. 
Yep, that is indeed Chris Delp sitting there on the left side of that window over there. He is the guy who was running a lot of the free play arcade stuff. He's the one that invited me down to uh, attend that. Oh, awesome. Man, yeah, so much fun. Oh, God, I had so much fun there. I want to go back. I want to go back. Yeah. The, the love for the retro games is always oh, yeah. there. Oh, that was standing, so not going to be enough hit stun to combo into the sweep. Nice block by Nakanishi, but now all the way into the corner here. So you got to deal with this boxer rush down. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, just for the frame advantage and push him away. That's what you want. Oh, you missed. Oh, wow. Okay, trying to fake a walk-up throw, catch him low, but Climax blocking. And guess what? He builds up another super already, but so did Nakanishi. And he's going to get the jump kick in the super to, to be a true block string. So there was nothing Climax could do to get away from that. Oh, God, here Little we go. Tatsu mix -ups. Oh, oh okay. he's in the front to try to be a tricky boy. Yeah, so Climax just avoiding that stun right there. Whoa. Gotta watch out, but yeah, I felt like that was a little too obvious of a situation to throw out that super. And yeah, just patience from Nakanishi crouching right under that headbutt. Yeah, playing that in pretty textbook fashion right there when it comes to the Shoto versus Rapsa matchup. <laughs> Um, you know, just really keeping away, not throwing too many fireballs, doesn't want to get tapped. I see people in the chat calling this honest gameplay. <laughs> oh, yes, ST is the most honest game, right? There's nothing honest about <laughs> ST, let me tell you. I and love we that. love it because of that. Oh, exactly. the invincible uppercuts, yes. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. To the corner, but a missed time on that jump, and so he's going to get tossed backwards, and that gives Nakanishi a lot of room to go back there. And yep, trying to bait out that Balrog Super, but he recognized Climax as being a little too patient. Okay, push him to the corner, see what he can get. Oh, oh with the reactions right with the there. uppercut. Right, Climax now. Ooh. Just getting hit by that red fireball and getting knocked down. Imagine Ryu having a knockdown fireball at yes. point blank range. That's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but you know what? No one can really complain when you're going up, but you can't complain about any character when they're fighting Balrog. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you can already see Climax pushing Nakanishi to the other side. But oh, oh, here we go, go again. Oh, here we go again. And one more. Oh, Ooh, no. Oh, wait. here we go. He went oh. for the headbutt! All yeah. or nothing headbutt right there. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, Nakanishi is already going to be scared of the super. Mm -hmm. So he's not going to touch any buttons. So in that situation, going for the surprise headbutt like that, I don't think is going to work because he's not going to try to uppercut. Mm -hmm. Not trying to challenge it. Yeah, because he's going to lose to the super anyways, even if he uppercuts. So he was probably going to block. He probably should have uh, went for a, a tick throw setup in that situation. Oh, these fireballs are just doing it for Nakanishi right now. Climax trying to work his way through with the headbutts, but having a little bit of trouble with Nakanishi just walking right yeah. back and controlling that screen again. Okay, good block by Nakanishi. There we oh. go. See? Oh, Ooh. no! That was just a missed mini timing on that turnaround punch. Oh, he tried to walk up throw. He really tried to walk up and throw from that far range. I mean, he, he hit the right button, he hit strong. That has a farther throw range uh, for Balrog than his heavy punch throw, even though they do the same thing. Mm. Oh, oh, he got him. I didn't think that was gonna reach from that Just range. Just barely. Yeah. I thought the first one would be, would miss, miss and then and the rest of them would the hit him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, doing a little shimmy right there, going on the same side though. Oh no, missed time that jump. Tried to stay, oh, stayed in the front, but beautiful reaction from Nakanishi, but a wonderful trade from Climax, and he is gonna take it that game and put one on the board. Yeah, definitely, yeah, showing that he's not trying See, to get free. No, there's no debate, it, some people in the debate, are, chat are debating, no, SD is godlike. It is the best game, dude. Uh. I don't watch. <laughs> You, there's not even a question, okay? Look, this is the best game ever. <laughs> it's like I said, there's so much broken in this game, but it all balances itself out because of that. Exactly. 
no honor among thieves when it comes to stolen games. <laughs> exactly. The best thing about this game is every time you kill someone, you feel so good when you do it like that. Just like that. When you call out a super in a situation like that and catch a rush punch, you just feel like a boss. Don't get me to answer the Alpha 2, Alpha 3 question. I'm going to make people mad. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll probably be right there with you. I, I know your thoughts on this one. All right, to the other side. Here we go. The tick throw mix up. Last time, this time stayed in the front and caught him. Things are looking a little better for Climax this round, but Nakanishi is on match point. He's got to be careful. That's super nice. Oh, my gosh. Okay, yeah, he baited out. That was so smart. And here we go. Oh, oh. Nakanishi could have uppercut it there. Doing the super in the corner against uh, a cornered opponent is kind of dangerous because at certain ranges it makes that little pause. And then the opponent can definitely uppercut through it. Yeah, a, a risky situation, but at that life percentage, it's probably something that Nakanishi was looking for, but yeah, just not feeling it. Right, here we go. Oh! Mm. No oh. Oh, here we go with these cross-up Tatsus again. Good Catch block this block. time. Oh, God, he's just jumping around like a rabbit. Oh, that was such a far walk. Good anti-air. Oh, oh once geez. again. I think that was supposed to be a tick throw setup, but it worked. What? Wow. You're okay. Climax coming back, tying it up. 2-2, two -two, putting this on the last point right now. Okay. <laughs> So Climax, getting it really close here. We've seen Nakanishi use Guile before, but I think he probably just prefers Ryu in this fight. Mm -hmm. And this is loser side. Remember, if Nakanishi loses this, he'll go home. Hopefully he won't suffer a heart attack or anything like that. Hopefully he'll be okay. Oh! You very rarely see an uppercut beat Balrog's uppercut. Here we go. Climax is going in. Oh, uh -oh no. Big knockdown right him. here. Then he missed the jump in timing. Nakanishi now. He's the one facing Climax's match point this time. Climax coming all the way from behind. Yeah, something just clicked, and all of a sudden he was like, wait, I remember how to fight this matchup now. And he's trying to build some space, but that's the whole thing. Yep, there you go. That throw will do it, but he still can't throw a meaty fireball because Climax has a supercharge, but here we go. Ooh, tried to bait out the super. And he did, so now he doesn't have to worry about it, but he's chased down. <gasps> the throw. Headbutts through the super. Climax. Climax does it. He ran up to try to throw with the strong button. Nakanishi Tatsu'd and it option selected into punching him out of the air and then from there he got the headbutt through the fireball. Climax is gonna move on in loser's side. Very good stuff to Climax. And I really like the adjustments that he was making there in those later games. Uh, using those rush crunches to close that gap. That Damn, really cool. do you see these guys? They just, oh. they just, <laughs> they just tack hair picks, man. They give each other the fist bump with their picks. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> That is awesome. Dude, this has got to be a hair match, right? Whoever <laughs> wins this one, the, other, the loser has to shave, right? Oh, I, like, I feel man. Like, I feel like that has, <laughs> something has to be on the right line there. right here, dude. Oh, man. Now, here we go. I know over there standing up right now, that's uh, Aphromatic. Mm -hmm. uh, and I believe he's playing Enryu. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, some more Shoto action over here. He actually came up to me and said we played at Seasons Meetings, oh, okay. uh, like in 2011, something. Shout out to also because Fu Fu Fugi is right, just right over there doing the MVC2 stuff. He was one of the main guys who ran uh, Seasons Meetings with yes, uh, Chris right. Galleon. And so, ah, I miss Seasons Meetings. That was such a great event. It was an awesome venue and everything. So, But now, I mean, to be honest, that used to be the, the primary Mid Midwest tournament. Right over here, yeah. But now it's Combo Breaker. <laughs> Pass the torch. All right. Ah, uh, so Mega Man X, that's right. Yeah, Mega Man X, his Zangief has been looking super clean. 
this whole entire tournament in the semifinals. I was really impressed with the Zangief play, so I'm expecting some good stuff over here from him. <laughs> We're having some fun in game. It looks like you see some com camaraderie over here. It looks like they played <laughs> each other, you know, a few times. Oh, here we go. Here's a fist bump. There we go. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, so that's cool. real sick. Oh, man. All right, so here we go. See Mega Man clapping there, trying to hype himself up. <laughs> and again, you know, Zangief, not one of the best characters in this game. But still, against Ryu, very even matchup. Some people say Zangief may even win this. I don't know about that, but it's, you know, I think, I think it's 5-5. Five -five. Yeah, Zangief definitely has like, so many tools, you know. It's hard to get in, but once he gets in, mm -hmm. the damage on his stuff right there. I mean, it almost seems like Zangief was balanced to fight Ryu. Exactly, right? Because they forgot to balance him to fight Vega. But, you know, that's a whole other story. <laughs> oh, boy. Watch out for the... Oh, he went oh. for the SVD. I thought he was going to... Oh! Oh, boy. Watch out! Oh, he got a stun! Shake, shake, Whoa. shake! Oh, he got Ooh. the jump in over the sweep! What a beautiful timing. Wow, that was something else. And yeah, when you were talking about, yeah, a balance to fight Ryu, exactly. You got that Lariat that goes through that fireball. Just exactly what he needs. Very similar to kind of how Street Fighter V works, you know, to get around the, a lot of those zones. Yeah. Uh, see, I can really see the debate in the chat. People are going, this is not 5-5. Five five. <laughs> you know, oh, you started the, something now. Yeah, I know. This is the best <laughs> thing about ST. We'll be arguing about this forever, dude. Mm -hmm. Oh, cross up. Okay, good block. We've got to watch out for the SPD, but Ooh, he missed it. He away. missed it. Oh. oh, no. Wasn't expecting that fireball was going to try to move up. Okay, he got uh -oh. it. He's going to go for the super. No, oh. he walked into the Tatsu. Stood up a little bit too early. Okay. That's exactly what I was talking about. Just two hits right there. Just a big chunk on Ryu right there. <laughs> oh, he's in oh. with the jump light kick. Oh, he's in again. But beautiful Tatsu. Wasn't even a reversal. Didn't even need the perfect reversal timing. So I like that block string right there from Afromatic there, just making sure there was no gaps in there, so no SPDs. Oh! Oh, no. And then he just gave him the hand. <laughs> <laughs> just slapped him upside the head. What the heck? Yeah, Afromatic trying to create some space right there at the end, but just backing himself into the corner, and Mega Man X just was steady walking with Zangief, saying, you know, that's, I don't mind that. Yeah, keep going into the corner. Don't throw fireballs at me. Yeah, just so people know, uh, we are definitely running on tournament standard time. If you've tuned in for some third strike, it has not happened. It'll, we're about, you know, a couple hours behind. But, yeah. you know, it's, it's all good. It's all good. These are old school games. We can wait. Yeah, ST runs, you know, relatively quickly. Exactly. So, yeah. Ooh, Ooh, that was definitely not intentional, and there we go, the SPD tick. And things are looking good for Mega Man X right now. Oh. And Larry eating through. Mega Man X trying to get through right here. Oh, very nice sweep from Appomattox. Yep, there you go again. Oh, and was that the first overhead? We've seen that match. It might have been. Yeah. yeah. I mean, going for overheads against Very Zangief scary is against Zangief because you don't want to go in. Mm -hmm. Wake up SVD, remember, is one frame. It will be every meaty as long as you are in range. Nice. Ooh, oh, wow. very nice Tatsu. It's a raw Tatsu to get out of the corner and catch uh, Mega Man X by surprise. These sweeps have been so well placed coming from Aphromatic. Yeah, and Aphromatic, you can tell, he's just in love with doing low forward into super. He just wants to do that a lot. <laughs> doesn't care if it's, it's like all blocked. Just let it rip, yeah. right? It doesn't matter. Doesn't care if it's blocked or not. Just wants to show that he can. But here we go again with that low sweep. Uh, finding something to fight Mega Man X. Tying up 1-1. One, one. But yeah. Stern faces from both of our competitors right here. You know, the, the fun and games were there in the beginning, but right now this is competition time. Yep. It's time Look, to get serious. You're always friends out of the game, but in the game, you're going to whoop that other guy's ass, oh, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, and just a nice DP right there expecting another one. 
Yep, trying to bait out that fireball. Oh, very nice double tatsu right there. Using that arc very well. And look at this, Mega Man X is trying to chase him down to the corner. And that's the thing as Ryu, you gotta be careful. If you let Zangief walk you down, yeah, see, that's why that uh, the, the escape helicopter <laughs> is yeah. important. Get me to the chopper! Oh, beautiful Ooh. jump back, medium kick. Ah, things are looking good for Acrobatic! Oh, no! Oh, no! oh you're oh. not dead, but it is going to be so close. Time is running eight, out. Seven seconds. Ah! Running bear grab! Ah! Wow. What a beautiful use of his tool right there. That was beautiful. Yeah, that time ticking down, seeing that defense. You know, when time's ticking down, you get real defensive, just want to block and run away. It's really interesting. The reason why that cancel into the running bear grab works is because when you block something and he goes with the SPD tick, there's this weird, like, space, like this pause in the action that you're waiting for the SPD. But when you see his hands rise up, you're like, oh, he's not doing that. Okay. But wait, oh my oh, god. He's and, right yeah, at me. it's too late. It's really interesting how that works. Even though it's the same reversal timing, it's just one of them tricks your brain into not thinking the grab is coming. Yeah, and ju just like that classic fireball fake, right? The stand light kick coming mm -hmm. from you, you know? You just see an action Ooh. and you think something. There you go, no comebacks this time for Mega Man X. Aphromatic taking that round. This is a crucial game number three. Who is gonna go up two to one? Yeah, it's been neck and neck. Both of them just trading rounds. But here we go, Mega Man X getting that SPD. Very nice reversal timing right there. Uh, and same right there, yep. Yeah. And there we go, crouching medium punch into SPD. I mean, it's interesting that Mega Man X likes that one more than the standing light kick SPD. Crouching strong SPD is less safe because if Ryu gets the wake up uppercut, he will punch he you. He will get it, yeah. But if you ta time the light kick properly, there's no recovery frames on the light kick. The last frame of that move is active, right? Yeah. So you can always do a safe, meaty standing light kick on Ryu. And so even if he wake up uppercut, it will go through you. <laughs> Go, today actually, I learned. Yeah, you'll actually recover and block in time. So I, I think it's a better way to do the tick, tick SPD. Oh, again with the running bear grab. Using that splash to trade, but Aphromatic over here fighting his way out. But nice. Very nice. Escape, yep. Just blocking him down. Yeah, as soon as you see the, the, the Lariat activated, you can throw the fireball so that it's in him when he block. What? Whoa. That beat the uppercut? Wow. Okay, I and guess we gotta bust out the old Ryu yeah, then. <laughs> Get that real invincible uppercut back. Oh, there we go again. Good oh, block on it? the cross up. What is Ooh. happening there? Wow, a little bit of nerves right there, I believe. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Aphromatic trying to again. Hitting Mega Man X with that really well spaced sweep. Oh, but here we go. I felt like he Mega was, oh, Man that's X. not going to kill quite yet. It's a tiny chunk of damage left. Mega Man X at match point. Nice block on the super. He's got it. Oh, he's oh. going to jump in and get the super. And not only that, but he jumps out of his <laughs> chair to pop off with the finish on the super Mega Man X. There we go. Good stuff to both of them. And what an ending. You know, just. I don't think he really did any empty jumps right there. Saved yeah. it right at the end. Beautiful that stuff. That was a, definitely a vile ending there. Draining uh, Aphromatic's life to zero. Good job to Mega Man X. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Running bear hug after the match, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I see y'all out there, chat. For sure. Try and see if anybody caught all of my Mega Man X references there. Oh, yeah. I mean, he does shoot those Hadoukens, right? Yeah, exactly. It's, you know, it's a vile match. It's, mm -hmm. you know, drained his life to zero. Anyways, <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, God. Try to oh, see if now I get, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Of course. Uh, <laughs> Got to step on my game. Those puns are too real. <laughs> OG references to Mega Man X. I should have added Sigma in there somewhere. Then uh, I think it would have been a little more clear. <laughs> so there you go. But 
right, here we go. It looks like we have Climax uh, versus that Logic LV, yes. Okay. This is also in the loser side. We only have two players remaining on the winner side right now. So here we go. It is Logic LV going up against Climax. Ah, okay. So. Yep. Just a quick button check. You know, I'm, I'm just going to make a shameless plug here, but, you know, if you guys have fun trying to do uh, juice kicks with Ken, check out Flappy Fighter on the iPhone, dude. <laughs> that is so awesome. That game is so fun. That game is shockingly enjoyable, like a training mode game. If you like classic fighting games, the training mode is hours of entertainment, dude. Seriously. Just, I, I don't know how they thought of that, you know. Just <laughs> put some fish heads on, on, on these little you not know? Street Fighter characters. They're not Street Fighter characters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, just a gi, gi wearing companions. But here we go. We've got the mirror match right here. Talk about a boxing match. Oh, boy. And the best part about it is... This looks nothing like a boxing match. Oh, no. <laughs> well, it is a slugfest at times. Yeah, that is true. That is true. But look at this. Climax, fresh off of his win over Nakanishi, is looking very strong here. Ooh. Goes for the dashed upper into the throw fake. Climax looking ready right now. Nice. Ooh, Ooh okay. what a stuff. Yeah. And you know, with the life lead right now, Logic LV will take every trade that is available, but you're not going to trade against the Super unless somehow you both activate them on the same frame, which would be pretty freaking high, yeah. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh. Yep, there we go. Now you just reversal Super. Okay, oh. you wait for the headbutt. Oh, no! Oh, wow. What? That was definitely 100% supposed to be a Super. Yeah. <laughs> Going for the super. It looked like uh, Climax was trying to go for a throw setup right there, but yeah, risky moves, risky business, and that'll cost him the round. Nice headbutt to punish that turnaround headbutt. There we go. Goes for oh, goes oh, for the yeah. safe jump setup instead. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, beautiful! And then the super will do it. Beautiful stuff for Climax. So he's gonna go up 1-0 over Logic LV. Yeah, definitely a little bit of dirty boxing right there with those grabs, and that's one of the strongest points for a boxer. <laughs> so scary, you know, getting that grab, you know, trying to mash out as much as you can, but not yeah. too much. You don't want to mash too much. Actually, I think the elephant screeches are gone from Super Terrible Ride. Didn't they take them out oh, yeah. at this point? Yeah, yeah they yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I remember earlier this weekend we were talking about the boxer boxer mirror match being one of the louder matches <laughs> in ST. <laughs> That's why I actually just call that move like the low blah and the high blah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's gonna be a chip. There you go, Logic LV taking round number one. And yeah, that's definitely one of the strong points about boxer. It has so much utility with his super. Yeah, and for a charge character, one of the most, the one of the highest mobilities because he can do the low charge and store the headbutt. Mm -hmm. So he can basically use it as a dash into a super invincible move. Oh, again with the headbutt after the super. Mm, then just goes for the standard tick throw. All right. Climax trying to take this 2-0 over Logic LV. Logic LV, though, won the first round, wants to take this to 1-1. This is losers' quarters. Losers of this does go home. Oh. Logic LV fighting his way out of the what? corner, but ooh, I don't even know what that hit. Just saw a hit spark and oh! oh! Climax was ready. Yeah, he tried to go for the meaty, but Climax said, you know what, I'm going to go for it. And you know, remember, reversals in this game are one frame, so you've got to be on point with your timing. Yeah, definitely uh, one of the things that you really need to learn in this game is getting your reversal timings in because of all the kind of tick grabs that you have in here. It's so important. Oh, nice. Point blank headbutt. Again. Again. 
Oh, he went for the throw that time. He thought he had trained him enough, but he was too far away for the throw. Just missed it. Either that or he might have still been blocked, so I'm not sure. Oh, you know what? Logic only says I can do it too, and a safe jump. What? <laughs> Something's happening here. Yeah. Oh, he went for the dash upper into throw as well. Oh, oh meeting in the middle. He's hit him with his bicep right before. Just trading blows. Yeah, it's definitely me on the boat and Nerd Josh over there. Oh, yes. Me on the totally. Right, me on the right. And Nerd Josh standing next to him. Although uh, Free Play Arcade Jeremy says that it also looks like him, and it also looks like Papasi as well. So <laughs> it's, it's an amalgamation of a bunch of ST. He got him oh stunned, and he's going to go for that super. Logic LV staying alive. And that's one of the coolest things about seeing these high-level matches is that when you find a player on the brink of elimination, they just find something within themselves yeah. to like bring it back and saying, oh, God, no, as a boxer, you know, I'm on the ropes. I've yep. got to bring it back. I've always said, I mean, many people have heard this a million times, but the comeback mechanic in ST is ST. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, choosing not to do anything fancy right there. Point blank headbutt again. Oh, I think that was supposed to be a super, oh. but Climax is going to get his, but you got to watch out. Oh, oh he's going to take the. Oh, he didn't try to cross him up. See, I, I would have ran under him basically to get him to lose the super charge. Mm -hmm. But exactly. actually, in the corner, I don't know if he would have been able to make it under him because there is that stupid wall that they hit. I'm not sure of the specifics. Ooh, hit him with a two. In there with that safe jump timing. Once you get one safe jump timing in, you don't have to be perfect every time because then the opponent is just scared to do the wake up. Oh, he got him! It. He knows about the delay, and Logic LV took advantage of it. That was beautiful. Yeah, exactly what you were talking about in that last match. Yeah, that is definitely not easy to do. That was very, very good, very good skill right there. High level play. So tying it up with this last round. Again, a slugfest. Mm -hmm. Climax definitely uses that uh, dash upper and the throw a lot more. Nice block by Logic LV. He can definitely make the comeback, oh. but nothing from Climax. So he baited out the headbutt from Logic LV. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, so, lost the signal, nah, but players nah. are so... Yeah, right. <laughs> I hear Balrog. I think he's charging at the other Balrog. <laughs> and then the Balrog is charging. He's throwing a punch. And another punch. Another dash punch. Oh, oh super. super! And, and he got him with the super, but not dead yet. He's still alive, but oh, there it is. Gets him. Climax is going to take it over Logic LV after landing the super. <laughs> But yeah, very good. So yeah, a little bit of difficulty. We'll get that right sorted. Ah, oh, well, we we're getting it back into ah, the 60s that, version. Yeah, that retro wave, that, you know, retro future. Look, man, streaming is a blow up, especially trying to stream old man games. Arturo's out to the side. They're calling him over to come over and help fix this. I, ca I can't count how many times he's been, you know, summoned to, you know, <laughs> whether it's a streaming issue, whether it's an arcade hardware issue. I mean, he, he runs a lot of Team Spooky now, so when you say call Spooky, you know, it still works. <laughs> yep, yep. You're calling sure Arturo thing. now. Yeah, and Ar Arturo, definitely the guy when it comes to, you know, helping revitalize all of these retro games. Oh, yeah. You know, ST's never gone away. Uh, but definitely, you know, seeing it in this 4K glory is something yeah. else. I, I mean, I, I mentioned it uh, uh, during the semis yesterday when I was coming super, commentating Super Turbo, but really shout-outs to Arturo because, you know, obviously when the color is fixed here, this is the crispest I've ever seen Super Turbo look on a stream. I mean, it looks like pixel perfect, pixel perfect you know. Yeah. It's so nice looking. Yeah, especially seeing it up there on the screen. It's been really amazing. You know, I, I don't have a 4K TV at home, but seeing all this over here makes, really makes me want to get one to see yeah. this STV, like, so huge, you know? 
Now it feels like we're putting Instagram filters on <laughs> <Yeah>. this. <laughs> <laughs> Updating it for the modern age. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Giving it that nice sun-drenched look, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, signal is out. Okay. We'll get this fixed for you guys shortly, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro broken arcade machine look, yeah, <laughs> De definitely. Oh, definitely. Somebody put too many magnets, we're playing around with too many magnets on the screen. Gotta bust out the degausser, have yeah. you seen those oh, before, gosh. the big giant ring? Mm -hmm. I worked at an arcade before I had to use that to degauss days. Oh. I was always happy when a screen was messed up because I just, in I was so fun using that thing. Yeah, I get to use the tech, right? Mm -hmm. Just grab this and you hear you hear this like it like buzzes and you just move it in a circle and you like and then you pull it away yeah and then the, all of a sudden the monitor looks good yeah the, the whole CRT technology is just it really is magic mm -hmm. uh, actually because I, I was reading if you transport a CRT from the northern hemisphere to the southern hemisphere you actually have to recalibrate it because of the magnetic waves of the Are you earth serious? yeah Holy crap, I did not know that. It's That's amazing. Something else, yeah. That's amazing. So definitely, yeah, you know, give some love to your retro game TOs out there because <laughs> <laughs> you, when you have stuff like that, you know, that that's definitely a, a lot of workload right there. Yeah. A lot, I, I'll a lot tell of you, cool I'll tell stuff. you one thing, Arturo really is the, the master of this right now. He just opened like a brand new piece of hardware to get the stream working. Mm -hmm. That yes. was like three hundred dollars of that. That guy, I mean look. When you sub and, or donate to Spooky, he's putting it all right back into all the streaming. All into the man. equipment. Yes. Yeah, he is doing a lot of amazing things for the scene. Yeah, so much new retro streaming tech out there. Uh, something we were talking about earlier is that a lot of these retro games, you know, are coming to this modern age where you're able to, you know, plug in your own stick. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. even the pad players now, they're able to plug in their DS4s yeah. and, you know, play exactly as they want to. And, you know, it's just all of these different communities. You know, they have the arcade hardware community. You have the, the shoot 'em up game community. Mm -hmm. Also, mm -hmm. are really big into the arcade scene. You know, coming yeah. out a lot of, with a lot of this technology. Uh, when I went to uh, Spain for that Fightcade offline. Oh, yes. Yeah, uh, Rocco, a.k.a. Tomas, uh, mm -hmm. who runs that event, mm -hmm. basically, he, he just has all these candy cabs. You know, he just has all these Japanese cabinets. Moved them from a um, a storage warehouse to this theater, and it's all shoot 'em ups. It's all fighting games. So he is another one of those old school fans and loves all that stuff. It's it's so cool. It is really really cool. Yeah, definitely. I, I was talking with a player from France earlier today who uh, came for V Savage ST, uh, and he works for the Mix Up. And then he was just, just oh, seeing nice. all, yeah, oh, yeah, like you said, candy cabs, candy cabs mm -hmm, everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, he was telling me, you know, his circle of friends, you know, they all live in apartments. They all have candy cabs. Oh. <laughs> I want a candy cab. I want, I, look, my place is so small. I'm already, like, I don't have any space. In Th that's place. what I said. And yeah. they were like, yeah, our spaces are really small too, <laughs> but we just want the candy cabs. I was like, I respect that. I really do. Yeah, one of these days, one of these days, if I can ever get it set up I, I want like my own like mini arcade have but a room with you know a nice head-to-head -head yeah. or something well you know I'm making those big bucks in esports oh, right now yes. so you know I'm sure <laughs> that, that 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 mini arcade is right around the corner for me oh I'm yeah sure it is yeah oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, fortunate well fortunately uh, triptych uh, I'm not two months behind on my rent I'm two months behind on my mortgage no, I'm <laughs> it big is right there yeah. yeah, definitely when you come to these retro game tournaments, you see, you know, real good players with, you know, real life problems. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, no, I'm not behind on rent. I'm okay on rent. I'm, I'm surviving so far. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of these players, you know, just balancing, you know, the, these games, playing these games, and then, you know, big responsibilities, you know. That's something that you see in all the scenes, but I feel it's especially true with these older games with the older oh, yeah. player base. Yeah, we did this out of the love, dude. These old, uh, these old machines here, these old fighting games. I mean, I love the fact that we're here at Combo Breaker and I'm watching TMNT Tournament Fighters on the Super Nintendo, like we mentioned, CBS2, MVC2, yes. Super Turbo, EX2, all these old school fighting games. It's super, super awesome. 
Yeah, and I really hope uh, all y'all out there have been watching the streams throughout the weekend. Um, you can kind of see it right now. You, you see those TVs in the background. Mm -hmm. Each one of those TVs ranges around maybe $300, $400. The little green things on top of them, that's another <laughs> couple hundred dollars. Yep. Then you have another, probably on that table alone, is thousands of dollars worth of retro equipment and you know just brought in from the community. Yeah, don't tell that to the FTC, because then that stuff is going to disappear. <laughs> 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 You're right. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Let CRT. me not tell you how many of my joysticks have been taken at FTC events, okay? I'm not, uh, let's not talk about that right now. Yeah, the, the one good thing about the CRTs is that it, it's a little bit heavy to kind of sneak away with the CRT. <laughs> Although, I will say it has been done. <laughs> Happened to me at EVO, actually, ready to get tournament. But anyways, looks like we got our video back up and running, y'all. Yeah, so we'll we get go. started here real shortly. <laughs> yo, yo, streaming is a blow up. <laughs> oh, yo, yo, it <laughs> <laughs> sure is. Yeah, as a uh, retro streamer myself, I have been there so many times. The best thing about it is one of the joysticks that I had got stolen was uh, modded. Like I had its own like different colored buttons, and oh, someone nice. said, "I know who has it. They tried to sell me that joystick." Oh, and then he God. asked the guy, and the guy was like, what joystick? And then that was it. So, of course, yeah. of course. Man. <laughs> but yeah, here we go. All right, here we go. Yep, just starting with that jump light kick into SPD. Yeah, obviously, I think we're using a different capture device because obviously it's not as crisp as it was before, but we want to get you guys the image instead of nothing. So yeah. you guys don't want blind... Uh, you know, <laughs> blind Street Fighter. <laughs> you know, that that play-by-play that -play was all right, <laughs> but, you know, seeing a little bit something early yeah. on. Oh, no! Ooh. And that killed? Oh, my gosh. I mean, obviously, if it was going to do the damage, you're going to die. If you tech it, you lose the life and gain it back, so you're going to die. I was just surprised it did even that much damage in the first place. Not sure myself, but uh, does phase throw have any kind of damage differences similar? Which to, one? Uh, phase throws. Oh, uh, I mean, it's all sort of randomized, so it's oh. hard to say. Let's <laughs> talking about throw damage. Ow! <laughs> Here we go, and using that lariat to try to stop Jiggly no Norris from just chicken winning him. Yeah, and I like that standing strong that he had. Oh, what? Oh, he did chicken wing, not a flame kick? That's crazy. Oh, he's not stunned. That was a... We got TZW combos in the house, ladies and gentlemen. We got TZW combo videos here. <laughs> that kind of looked like a, a real wrestling move, you know, like to do something to the back and then slam him to the ground. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. That was amazing. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, beautiful suction. The Russian suction. <laughs> oh, he's going to oh. get that one. Oh, he dropped the Rekas. Rekas right there. Very unfortunate, but still in there. Oh, sweeps the step oh. kick right there. Yep. Going to finish that at a range where he can't be hit. Watch out. Oh, that was supposed to be a chicken wing for sure. That was supposed oh. to be a chicken wing. There, there it we is. Go. Oh, that was a regular throw. That oh. was the 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 me, um, I want to say medium kick throw. Mm. No, that's the heavy punch throw. That's right. They they switched all of his throws in Super Turbo. I miss him from Hyper Fighting days because he had like nine different throws. Mm -hmm. Oh, combo! Yes. Gets the full time. The best combo ever. It makes you feel so good when you land that. Ooh. Only better one for Fei Long is Meaty Fierce and the Fierce Rekka. Oh, he could be dead. Oh. Okay, got the reversal. There we go. Very nice. Jiggly Norris fighting back right now. Oh, and I, I just love that crouching fear is my Oh, oh no. Oh, he oh. went for the SPD instead of the combo. Oh, that could have been it right there. He could have lost a lot of life there. Nice sweep on the whiff punish. Oh, no. That reach. Zangief is so thick. Oh, right the jump. Oh! Wow. Very nice spacing right there. Walk back. Mega Man X thought he had a little bit of breathing room, but using that Fierce Punch Rekka to just get right back in there and close it out. Jiggly Norris tying it up. 1-1. One, one. Oh, oh, caught the, the, the step kick. 
Oh, but no knockdown right there from that reversal. Yeah, I mean, that's the risk of doing pianos, right? You may not come out with the light kick one so it doesn't knock down right away. Still gets you a better chance of getting the reversal. Uh -oh, oh, he's going to go. be able to combo. Yep, there you Big go. Big damage. Oh. And that's another trick, too, after the chicken wing. When you want to combo into the Rekka afterwards, you plink Fierce in the light punch because if the Fierce is one frame too early, then you get the light punch and it's still combo. So you just kind of mix between those two buttons and it makes it easier to combo off of. Oh, yeah, saw, saw the SPD setup coming. Oh, no, he got hit. Oh, he didn't get the link. That's SPD range, I think. Yeah. No, he just goes for the sweep. He's trying to build up that super. He wants to win with this one jump down medium kick into super, which is his, uh, which is Mega Man X's primary way of landing the super, but not going to get in. Yeah, Jiggly Nor is taking it that time. Going up 2 1 over Mega Man X. Let's see if he can make a little bit of adjustments right there. Uh, Jiggly Nor has definitely made a few adjustments of his own. Um, really good with that spacing with his Rekkas uh, to you know, kind of deter Mega Man X from jumping out of things. Um, but yeah, and also using that crouching fear as a full effect. Ooh, trade on that flame kick. No anti-air. Okay, preemptive anti-air. Nice lariat! It's actually not easy to lariat the chicken wing. And wow, that didn't kill or oh. stun. But that'll do it. Very good from Mega Man X. Rowling back. Oh, yeah. Okay, I would have got hit, too. I would have tried the SPD. 100%. <laughs> oh, from oh, the front! Oh. Again, trying to go for that SPD. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was nice! Oh! Ah, he got him with the super! Tying it up 2-2! Two to two. Very nice. And Mega Man really feeling that. Throwing his hand in the air. As we said, Jiggly Norris looking really strong, but I have been really impressed with Mega Man X's uh, Zangief play here. Let's see if he can keep the streak going up against uh, Jiggly Norris. Oh, getting out of there with the flame kick. Nice okay. reversal lariat. He's from the front. Is that stun? No, okay. It can stun. Random, random uh, chances for it to stun. Oh, jump back, knee oh. kick. Right, and just spacing each other out right now. Didn't get a full punish on that one, but yeah, definitely that stand medium will do a little bit of damage. Oh, wow, we just oh, oh, we got him and again! Yeah, I love him using the step kick to make sure he doesn't jump by accident or something. Yeah, and I think he went for running bear grab right there with Mega Man X. Very ballsy from that distance. Yeah, but once again, Zangief being dummy thick right there, getting hit by the Three hit Rekka from so far away. Oh, that was tricky. Okay. Oh, again. Super. Yeah, and there it is. That'll Jiggly it. Norris is going to take it. Yeah, very good show, though. Very good show. Jiggly Norris trying his best right now to take it for the Midwest crowd over here for the local home scene. Though I think a lot of these guys yeah, are from this area. It, so. it definitely looks like a team kill right there. Uh, you know, Sh Chicago ST scene really showing up strong uh, this tournament. Oh yeah. Look at these guys giving each other a hearty handshake right there. Yeah. Everybody, it's all love here for ST. Come on. We're all too old for any sort of fighting game <laughs> drama. Yeah. Right. All love here. All love here. Exactly. And you know what? Also, show loves to all the sponsors that we have here in the community. It's without these guys. I mean, yeah, we sit here and watch ads and all these stuff like that. But, you know, without those guys, we wouldn't have events like this. So it's very, very important, you know, to support all of the sponsors and everything Definitely. here. Yeah, all of that support is so appreciated. So much love to all of them. Do we, we had a slide coming up here? All right. Hey. Oh, I didn't see you there. Sorry. Um, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with more Common Breaker 2019 in just a little bit.
If you're a bit bored during these combo breaker breaks, why don't you check out Duck Game, available now on the Switch. You can pop it out, play on the plane while you're headed over to another event. 24% discount, $9 and some change. Now available, it's been out on Steam for a while. Check it out. Hey, FGC, it's Duck Game! Turtle Twins Duck Face Multiplayer has finally arrived on Nintendo Switch. Play it with friends. Hey. Play it alone. Hello. Play it everywhere. So long. <laughs> Help me, everyone loves Duck Game! Duck Game! Available now for Nintendo Switch. And holy duck, it's on sale now! If you want to unleash the beast and play to your optimum level, check out one of these Hitbox controllers. You can take control and find them now over at hitboxarcade.com.
you want to level up your execution, check out the Paradise Arcade Shop Magenta. It's silent, it's precise, it's fantastic. You can find it over at pasmagenta.com. If you're heading to Combo Breaker 2019 or any other majors on the tour, you of course want a stick and bag for it, which you can pick up over at Quamba USA. There's a code now for 10% off site-wide using code CB2019. It expires next Friday, so go ahead and take this opportunity to pick up something over at Quamba. And welcome back. And that arch villain has won. No, I'm just kidding. No, 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 they're just messing around right now. They're just messing around. Yeah, welcome back, y'all. We are here with, I believe this is top four now. Yeah, this is winner's final here. This is the last two players in winner's side. Whoever wins this will be in grand finals and guaranteed top two. And it's going to be money versus that arch villain. It is the Shadowloo bosses. Yeah, and all the... <laughs> All the bosses being really strong in Super Turbo. Oh, cross some head stomps, yep. You gotta be careful of those nice jump back. And he's gonna get the full three hit combo, nice. Very nice from Lenny right there, closing it out. Hmm, that was an odd trade there. And Ooh. again, the cross up head stomps. From downtown. <laughs> I'll say, shoots up a brick. <laughs> it's good. Nice, gets the double. No, oh, doesn't go for the wall dive, doesn't go for the heel ball instead, just walks up for the throw instead. Money looking very strong here, and there it is. Gets the two stabs. Not a combo, but two stabs. Uh, really good ground game there from Money. Like you were saying, yeah, not choosing to go for any wall dive shenanigans, just playing it on the ground mm -hmm. and then pushing them to the corner and just getting those hits in. Yeah, Claw obviously a very strong character. Interesting that we see no Dalsums here, because Dalsum is a very strong character as well, but Dalsum is also very difficult to play. You have to know all the anti-airs at the right distance. Meanwhile, Vega, you just go off the wall a bunch and go, <laughs> Hoo! No, I'm just kidding. Oh, that's mean to money, so. <laughs> oh, stayed in the front with the Oh, tricks. wow. Okay, he could die. And, oh. jeez. Oh. But see, what I didn't like about that from that arch villain is he was in the corner. He was not gonna get crossed up by the wall dive, so I would have just stayed blocking and after blocking the wall dive, go for a super. I think he tried to wake up super and missed right there, and uh, unfortunately that means he just got hit and died. And throw. Yep. 
Got champion edition tactics. 7 <laughs> yeah. Eleven Bison, baby. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, definitely a, a lot of salty, salty times <laughs> back then. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Those fights at 7 Eleven, you know how they go. Oh, Just that arch villain down on live. Oh, I like the jump instead. Nice. Oh, he went for it. Scissors in the throw into Ooh. another throw. No, he can't take another throw. Oh, he's out of there. Super Spins down. the super. Oh, the early stab from Money. So smart. What a read. And you saw that arch villain kind of reel in his chair. Just like, ah. I was reeling back a little bit myself <laughs> there. <laughs> You know, a lot of times that's what it takes, just these hard reads to call it out. That was the fastest wall dive startup I've ever seen. It's like it just came oh off the floor gosh. with it. Money's on a tier right now. He's trying to uh, trying to try to make the immortal proud because he didn't show up for this tournament here, you know, but even though this is kind of in his neighborhood, so but uh money right there trying to take one for the claws out there. Yeah, really trying to get out of this winner's finals up on the top. Secure the bag. If you oh, know. and then the grab. One of the most destructive option selects ever. In One of the first option selects and a very, very powerful one. I'm going to hit punch. If you're close to me, I'll throw you if you're blocking. If you're not, I'll stab, and I'm going to be safe most of the time on block. You know? And that whole game with Claw's wall dive is just such a... That's so stressful when you're playing against it. Yeah. Uh, you know, you get hit with one of those options, and then you're always thinking about it. It's mm -hmm. always there in the back of your mind. You know, is he going to throw this time? <laughs> yeah. Is it going to be a side switch this time? Oh, Ooh. man. Yeah, definitely a tough character to fight. And then once you get him, put him in the hands of someone like Mao, who's got all the dirty, dirty claw things, like the anti-cross-up crouch light and crouch jabs and stuff. Oh, my God. The first time I saw that, that was <laughs> beautiful. I saw it, and I was like, really? Every why does claw yeah, have why, this? Yeah, why does he get one of those, right? All right, well, on loser semis, it's going to be Jiggly Norris versus Climax. Whew, okay, Jiggly Norris getting in there with that first flame kick. Two low jabs, no care cancel into a dash punch afterwards. No render care cancels or whatever you want to call them. There's been like 7,000 names. Oh no! There it is. That uh, pl the pianoing made it so that he got the medium one. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, oh no! Oh my oh. god! He's just going Lime in with the right <laughs> He was so scared of the flame kicks that he never wanted a dash punch. And finally, Jiggly Norris took advantage with the walk-up throw. Smelling that blood and just walking up and tossing him. That was beautiful. He was just like, flame kicks coming sooner or later. Flame kicks coming sooner or later. Oh, there we go. Super's going to make it through, but only one hit, so he's OK. Yeah, jumps out of the corner. He didn't want to stay in the corner himself. Ow. Oh, whip oh. punish on that record. Oh, he's oh, wait got, a minute. Oh, but he didn't get the combo off of it. But here we go. So close. The oh. throw. Jiggly Norris with two amazing comebacks in a row to take that first game. Using that footwork there at the end to just kind of, you know, of course, the, the Street Fighter V shimmy, right? That's what people are going, oh, yeah, this, the Street Fighter V thing, yes. Shimmy is no. man. <laughs> Throws are one frame in this game. <laughs> ST says lol to your frame data. Yeah. Shoutouts to Gerald, Corey Gaming. Ooh. I'm sorry, it's ST says lol to your nerdy frame data. <laughs> oh, the punish on the two wreckers. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, gets him on the other side. Climax coming back with that one. Ooh. And all, yeah, all of these matches have just been nail biters. Yeah. Ooh, what? Oh, wow. Okay, no stun, fortunately, for Jiggly Norris, but Climax going in with a little bit of that pressure there. Okay, gets the sweep. Oh, man, that point blank uppercut Ooh. again. And the punish Climax coming back and taking game number two. Right back at him, one to one. Yep. Oh, okay. Going with face. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, don't that, I, lo I love that color change. I, I was like, oh, is it going to change the pants? Is it going to change the pants? <laughs> oh, already. 
Oh no! Oh, and then okay, a no. drop from Climax though, he still has a huge life lead, but again, this is ST. This is ST. Uh, you can lose all of your health right now. Oh, that was oh. kind of neat. Look at this, he's already made the comeback. Oh no! Oh. The super! And we've seen so many comebacks from Climax today. It was looking to go that way, but definitely no or Climax coming back with it. Mm -hmm. Nah, because Phelan could have made that a true block string, I feel like, but that's what he went for with that stand and jab, but he just didn't time it right. Climax got through with the super, but then Jiggly Norris with the rush down Faye in the corner. Yeah, Jiggly's throw game has been on point, has been proven a problem for Climax this whole time. Yeah, oh. there we go, and got it on the crouch light punch, too. Do you all see that damage? Mm -hmm. Yep. No uppercut except for old Ryu and old Ken have more invincibility frames than Ba. Oh, he just threw him on wake up. Jiggly Norris going up 2-1 again, you know, using the face high power throws. And like you were saying earlier, his throws are so scary because, you know, of course, you know, you eat a throw in ST, you, you take a lot of damage, but you tech phase throw. <laughs> you could, you're putting yourself into a mix up in a weird way. Yeah, Fei Long, I wouldn't say is top two. Oh, what the dip? Okay, Fierce, Fierce, Fierce. And some more Fierce is to close it out. I mean, I feel like that was the, what the, the combo that uh, the director was talking about in the ending, right? The, <laughs> your four Fierce re Dizzy combo. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Stuff that Rekka. Climax trying to get back in there, but Jiggly Norris is at match point. Okay, good block from Jiggly Norris. He's still in there. The flame kick. Now it's scary. Ah! Oh. How many Fei Longs have we seen do overhead in the light flame kick? Like every Fei Long in existence. And he went overhead, run up, throw. Yeah. There was the next level right there. Again, yeah, Jiggly just seeing, you know, seeing that player matchup right now. He hasn't been, you know, doing much about these throws. Mm -hmm. He's been getting them down this whole time, so. Oh, look at this. Yeah, some of that Midwest love over yeah. here. Uh, I do believe all top four of our competitors here are from Midwest. So, you know, that old combo breaker nightage, no coast, no kings, <laughs> really ringing true over here in this ST bracket. Yeah, I know. We didn't have uh, Tanya and Eugene out here to propose to each other yeah. and, and, and take the tournament this time. Right. So oh, that, was, that was a beautiful thing. I was right there seeing, you know, playing Vampire Savior. But oh, here we yeah. go. I was commentating that. I was crying. Yeah, I was, was commentating. So, I was oh right there. Like <laughs> so beautiful. So beautiful. Yeah, sh shout outs to the West Coast over there. We love y'all. I'm missing y'all out here. Uh, is money not technically Midwest? Let us know uh, in the chat over there if anybody knows. But look at that. Jiggly Nora still running through this, taking that first round. Money lives in Milwaukee. Okay, so he is Midwest. Okay. Oh, Ooh, big damage. The fact that he does wake up chicken wings in situation, because that's not invincible. That's just a call out that he knows the opponent is so scared of the flame kick that they back off and then he just comes and uses that to chicken wing at them. Yeah, using that threat of off or threat of a defensive maneuver mm -hmm. to turn that right into offense. Exactly. It's beautiful. Oh, okay, shout outs to Renegade. Why are you on, on, in the chat? Aren't you here? <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, nice. Heavy flame kick. Oh. Close to chip now, but still not close enough to be confident. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh. the super. Archfit and hilling a button right there, and Jiggly Norris just sleeping right through it. All right, getting tossed into the corner here. Has him, yep, faded out that flame kick. But again, once he gets in with that chicken wing, and it's very hard for Bison to deal with that chicken wing if he's not ready for it. Cross up, good block! And yeah, that's what Bison can do. He can punish that light flame kick if he's close enough with the standing roundhouse. Oh, wow. beautiful timing. But one hit. Again, blocking the cross. Oh, oh he's going to be able to super! He missed oh, no. it! Oh, but he's just going for the chip, but it wasn't map! Oh, my Ooh. God. Just went for the flame kick at the end there. That should have been that arch villains. Well, actually, after Jiggly Nora should have had it with the super juggle, but he missed it. Uh, an intense moment, man. Not knowing which side is going to get it right there. 
But that's what fit. Wow, that was the fastest oh, dizzy wow. ever. But that's what a Phelon can do to you, man. Just all of a sudden. Oh, yeah, if he hit him. Oh, oh there what I, I was about to say. If he hits him with the one more hit, he's stunned, and then he's dead. Jiggly versus Faye. Oh, my God. He's got Chicken Wing down on lock right now. And you can sense Jiggly smelling yeah, blood right now. Going super offensive right now. Yeah. Archvillain fighting his way back, though. Archvillain with the life lead here. Oh, there you go. Beautiful stuff for that Archvillain. Okay, that's the kind of round he needs. And if he can just do that one more time, we've seen a plenty of o down O2 deficits come back to, uh, yeah, there yeah. we go. Come back to 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, it can go either way in this game. Exactly. Uh, DS, I've always said the comeback mechanic of ST is ST, dude. It's the way it works. We go, yeah. Arch villain staying alive right here, sensing something, really trying to bring it in right now. Here we go. Gets the throw, baits out the flame kick. Not that time, and it's a little too far to punish. Oh, the cross up, but he missed. He wasn't charged in time. He did. He messed up the charge timing, I think. And here we go. Oh, the toss, the toss oh. again, and. Uh, that arch villain had it if he had just gotten the charge. Maybe he should have. Maybe he went for the scissor kick if he had gone for the cycle crusher, which has a s shorter charge time. Maybe that would have stunned as well. That arch villain now at danger of being eliminated. Jiggly Norris at match point. Beautiful flame kick in the corner. He goes oh. in. Oh, oh no. boy. Ah! The link, but gets it with the flame Whoa! kick there at the end. Wow, the, the the clutch flame kick right there. And Jiggly Norris has advanced to grand finals to go up against Money. Who was the one that sent Jiggly Norris to losers again? Um, it was, it money. was money. Okay, so this is the run back. This is the run back. Trying to get that revenge right now. And Oh boy. Yeah, that's right, that's right, because we were talking about this, how some of the Japanese players were saying that uh, Fei Long actually does well against Vega, but yeah. it didn't look like it that time. So, But just want to remind everybody that Jiggly Norris is coming from the loser's bracket, so he needs to win two sets of three out of five in order to win this. Money only needs to win the first set. Everybody has to go to the loser's bracket before they are eliminated. Money is still in winner's side. So having a few games to play with, you know, get some adjustments going if he needs them. But, you know, here we go. And it looks like Jiggly Norris has some adjustments himself. Oh, yeah, just going at him with the chicken wing. Going to get the juggle for two hits right there. Wow, he just took a stroll. And Jiggly Norris has just been hitting that all day. That's that foot speed that Fei Long's got. And you're just scared of Rekkas, you're scared of chicken wings, you're scared of flame kicks. Okay, finally got the toss. Oh, and again, like you were saying, using that chicken wing to wake up with, yeah. managing to get himself out of the corner. And Money tried to get out of there with the wall dive, but he came out with the wrong one, but oh no, oh. that's, yeah. So, again, that's kind of a bad situation for Money because he's in the corner. And especially because it's Fei Long, he can do a flame kick and hold back, and he'll block the wall dive and try to reverse at the same time. So going after Fei Long in the corner with Claw like that, with the wall dive, wasn't exactly the, I feel like, the, the best decision there. But we'll see if Money can make this adjustment here. Oh. Yeah, jumping in with that light kick, but it's with right in front of him, so it just walked up again and threw him. Got him trapped in the corner here, nice. And as soon as you see him stand up and block, he can't wall dive anymore, so he can't escape. Gets out of there. Nice cross up. Gets the sweep, Very beautiful, nice. so Other smart. Side. Look, Fei Longs are just gonna light flame kick, dude. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna do it. Just gonna do it. Ooh, there nice! Again. Reached Very high nice. enough. Gets the throw. This pressure is so much. 
Now remember, Ve uh, Vega has that glitch that, I'll oh, see again, he went after him on the wall. Mm -hmm. But he's not out of this yet. Okay, there it is. As soon as he blocked that, he was going to get chipped by the Rekkas. The only thing he could have did was flip or try to do a flip kick. Now remember, if Vega's charged for the flip kick at down back, because you have to charge it down back, there's a glitch that once it's finished charging, he can go to up back and still flip kick afterwards. So if he charges up for that and then stands up to block the chicken wing, he can actually still do the Scarlet Terrors. But I don't know if Jiggly Norris is going to give him any chance oh, at all. Oh my gosh, Jiggly Norris is on fire right now, and it's not just his legs. Gets him with the sweep, the slide. Yeah, and that slide's so good. Ooh, ooh. Still throws him in time. Close to stun. Okay. Oh, he crouched a little too early. But you know what? He still has so much health, and Phalong has nothing. Oh! Oh, oh boy. Ooh, wow. Oh, boy. Jiggly Norris, however, still at reset point. Still at reset point. Money coming back. Choosing to use more wall dives right now. Okay, okay. Oh, oh the that's stun! Crazy. He just ate too many hits. And putting a slow on that steamroll that Jiggly Norris was running. Yeah, remember, I think Money won 3 0 in winner's side, or was it 3 1? I can't remember. It was 3 0. Okay, so definitely he can still take this without going to the next set. Oh! Grabbed him out of chicken wing! Grabbed the chicken wing, wow. Just claw things. <laughs> exactly. Oh, and there we go. Once again, reset point. Once again. Jiggly Norris really wanting this one. Nice chicken wing, catches him out of the air. Does to keep that pressure going? Yeah. Weirdly enough, like you'll try to flame kick that wall dive, but when you see that roll there, it's just like scary to try to reversal that. Oh, very good patience right there from Money. Got him with the stab, the far stab. Nice anti air with the crouching heavy punch, and then the crouching strong to punish the flame kick. Jiggly Nora still on reset point. Really trying to get this money right now. All right, here he goes. This is the lockdown from Phalong. This is where things get scary. And he lost the claw, so he couldn't punish that. He oh. will slide under. OK. He there. wants his claw back, but he can't get it. The toss, and there it is. Reset the bracket. Jiggly Morris again with that explosive fake corner pressure. And it's so scary, it's so fast. The fists are flying. The legs are coming at you. <laughs> Yeah, the fact that Phelon can switch between all these options so quickly and has the walk speed to just be right next to you at any given second is what makes him more more and more powerful as time. Oh, he recovered in time. Oh my. He didn't he didn't commit to the whole record. He's not standing up to pick up the claw. He's kind of scared. Oh no. Oh boy. And Jig Lee Norris taking the first round in this reset. Yeah, baiting flame kicks can't make discourage you of your Phalong. You just gotta keep it, especially because what's Vega gonna do? Stab you with Crouch Strong? I mean, how sad are you really at that point in time? And money is just blocking right now. Really not trying nice. to get mixed up right there, but oh, but look at that! Ooh. Three hits and four hits, and he has the life lead all of a sudden. Oh, if he can get oh, oh. he missed it, he missed it. Oh, not like this. Oh okay. Rip kicks again. Knew the chicken thing was coming. Wow. After yeah. that pressure coming from Jiggly Norris, Money managing to stay alive. I just don't understand how Fei Long did so much damage in four hits like that. Oh, and here we go, as change up in tactics right now. Oh boy. Time for the lockdown. Perfect timing on that safe jump, but just didn't get anything afterwards. I think he was expecting a block. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of a sack throw there. Remember, blocks done from heavies and mids are longer than their hit stun when you jump uh, at, at a standing opponent. So you expect the block stun to be a little bit longer, and then they get hit, and it's short, and then they throw you. Nice flame kick. 
again, we're seeing money go towards wall dive a little bit more. Uh, noticing that Jiggling Norse is using the chicken wing instead nice of... Nice block on the overhead, but no claws. So we oh, couldn't punish it. But you can punish that with a slide. Wow, whatever Phalon did worked. <laughs> Maybe a crouching sweep? Here we go, both characters flying across the screen. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Phelan's just trying to chase him now. Oh, oh. But see, see, he's not thick like Zangief is. Ow, three hits. Oh, oh wow. wow, that beat the flame kick. Other side, beautiful block by Jiggler. Oh my god, oh, no. here we go, the other side. One oh. more. Oh, oh, it was too early. You don't go off this, <gasps> you don't go off the back wall. You always go off the other wall because if you go off the back wall, you can go too early. So you use the timing of when he bounces on the floor to go off the opposite wall to make sure you have a consistent meaty claw timing. Since he went off the back wall, it hit the wall right away and he came too fast and so it just missed. Yeah, that, that extra hang time can be the difference between mm -hmm. that mix-up. So it's 1-1 one, one now. Close grand finals here. Oh, he oh, another throw. And now all of a sudden, Money playing a little bit different, playing a little more aggressive in his face. Are you gonna block that? Punish. There you go. There you go. Okay, Money, looking stronger this time. Oh, just starting off with chicken wing, but yep. Money was ready for it with the flip kick. Don't think he meant to go off the wall. Try to do a wake up. Didn't get it. Okay, get stabbed. Wow, what a block. He could still take oh, this. Dizzies. How did that even dizzy? <laughs> How did that dizzy? It's a little bit of that Hollywood magic, I suppose. <laughs> Try to jump away from that chicken wing. Oh, oh, nice. The flame kick hitting both sides is always nice. Again, oh, the again flip kick, the raw super, no! He wants the Rekka, because that feels fun to do, and he's jumping up and down, Jiggly but it's Norse. not done yet! <laughs> it's not done yet! He's, you don't touch don't. the money before the bet is one win one! You don't touch the money! Especially this money right here! Yeah. <laughs> that was not intentional, just turned out that way. Jiggly Norris maybe trying to channel a little bit of that jump power that Claw has himself. <laughs> oh, he's going to get the Rekka for da damage here. Missed the second one. Whenever oh, you try to go for that... Oh, yep, he's still alive. He's off the wall. Nice early stab. Again, oh, he's going reversal. after him in the corner. I don't like that decision. When you try to do that double flip kick combo with Vega, pay attention to the opponent. We're at the height that they are to get the second flip kick. Oh, here we go. It's Here's tournament point. The throw. He's going to go for the oh. flame kick. Oh, the oh, early stab again. He mistimed Ooh. it. The meaty. Oh. There it is. Jiggly Norris. Jiggly Norris is your combo breaker 2019 champion. Congratulations to Jiggly Norris, and look how ecstatic he is. Oh my gosh, coming back from the loser's racket, making quite a run, doing so much damage with his ultra quick Fey action. And there you see Money giving him the hug. Obviously he's disappointed, but he was still able to get second place. Good job to Money. Yep, still in the money, right? Still in the money. Yep. There you go. Congratulations once again to Jiggly Norris. I know when the top 24 started, when I was on here with Cleric, we were talking about Jiggly Norris as potentially yeah. one of the players to take this tournament, and sure enough, he goes and does it. So congratulations to him. Just like that, yeah. So much good play, and then he didn't know which way it was going to go. Mm -hmm. The momentum was just kept on shifting between Claw and Faye, and wow. And oh. remember, too, that uh, Money sent Jiggly Norris to losers with a 3-0. So mm -hmm. beautiful adjustment by Jiggly Norris. And, and you know, to come back here and, and win it in grand yeah. finals where it counted. Yeah, you could definitely see the change in the metagame mm -hmm. from both of those characters. You know, in real time, uh, you know, starting off 
Uh, there weren't too many wall dives. You weren't seeing too many wall dives out there. Uh, but then towards the end, you know, noticed that instead of going for that flame kick, was using that chicken wing <laughs> as kind of a wake up. So mm -hmm, I was like, okay, mm -hmm. well, let me try to wall dive in. But then towards the end, mm -hmm. Jiggly started flame kicking. Yeah, and, and I feel like Money had a couple of those crucial errors. I didn't like the wall dive mix up whenever uh, Jiggly Norris was in the corner. Because like I said, you can't even get behind him, so it's not mm -hmm. really a mix-up at that point. And like I said, that one time he went off the back wall instead yeah. of the far wall, and that messed up the meaty claw timing. A few small things to, to shore up right there, but I feel like uh, if he'd, he'd be totally down to keep doing this again, you know, yeah. to get the oh, grand yeah. finals again and try to take on Jiggly Norris again. Definitely, definitely. I mean, especially here on this big combo breaker stage. Um, this is definitely one of the highlights for the SD community, oh I know. Oh, yeah. Combo Breaker is such a, an amazing event for all the smaller games, you know. Obviously, EVO, the size of EVO, they can't run multiple games, right? Mm -hmm. Of course. Although Combo Breaker is kind of getting to that oh, point. Combo it's scary. scary. It's so huge, the, the main hall. I was just like, where yeah. are all these <laughs> know, people right? coming from? <laughs> But, uh, you know, games like ST, like Vampire Savior. Vampire Savior was on the big screen last year yes. uh, early on Sunday. You know, uh, Combo Breaker gives so much love to a lot of the old school games, and it's it's so cool. I, I love it. I love it. It's so great. Definitely, definitely. And, then, yeah, this year especially, you know, just having a whole room for all of these retro games has just been amazing. Yeah. You know, seeing all these setups everywhere, you know, having our own space, and, you know, seeing the <laughs> hype happen from all these games, you know, uh -huh. you're like, oh, because at least for me, you know, I came from a place where, you know, I would put my quarter up in Marvel 2, yeah. you know, stay there until of I course, get bought. Of course. Then going over to CBS2, and it felt like that same kind yeah, of energy, you know, yeah. where you could just look left and right and see all of these games. So, yeah. and, and, and another thing, too, also shout-outs to the, the Pheasant Run, the venue that we're in, because mm -hmm. they have really – because they have let Combo Breaker basically envelop this entire venue. For sure, yeah. We definitely took over. I know, you know, starting off in the earlier days, you know, you saw a lot of weddings and uh -huh, stuff during uh -huh, the same time, uh -huh. you know, some, you know, children's groups and stuff. Yep. But this area was – Pretty much pure FGC over here. The ballroom that we're in right now was not used for Combo Breaker mm -hmm. last year. Yeah. They also kept open like the ice cream shops and a bunch of the restaurants. Yeah. And you know, it's funny because there's that one area that you always walk by with the pool that's over yes. sitting there. Mm -hmm. And people used to just set up their machines over there and play randomly. Yeah. Now it's just the BYOC. There's actually tables and setups and monitors yeah. there just for everybody. It actually they just turned it into you know a casual mm -hmm. station, and it's so cool. It's yeah. so cool. Yeah. That that whole pool area if you've been here in the past has turned into the BYLC area with an extra room as well yeah, mm -hmm, exactly so, so yeah yeah really stepping it up definitely yeah yeah all right but guys uh don't go anywhere third strike is coming up next there's going to be some more old school action. That's going to be uh, Humbag and Vicious on the call for that. Awesome. And uh, again, right now, if you while you're waiting for that, you can check out twitch.tv slash NYC Furby for some uh, MVC2 action going on yes. right now as well. Real hype action over there for sure. All right. Hagere, thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's been so good commentating <laughs> ST with you. It's a pleasure, and I hope you guys enjoyed that, and stick around for some Third Strike coming up next.